Hello, I am Maria Montgomery and this is my sensory motor integration techniques project. Again, this is with my mom as my guinea pig, Susan Hello. Montgomery. And we'll get started. Okay. This doesn't freeze up all the time. Okay, first I'm going to start out with the labial facilitation points. And so to do this, you take your client and you press firmly to loosen up any muscle tenseness they could have. And have a closure, keep your mouth closed. And do note a minor sore that she has. Um, you tell us, is that okay? Does it hurt when I touch it? Okay, and if there was um, tension in the muscles, I would take them and stretch them as needed. And the same with the tongue. So to the first step we're going to do is to initiate pursing the lips. And to do that, I have made a homemade ice finger, which was just from a glove with frozen water. And I'm going to go in a clockwise direction. And you can keep your mouth your lips together. Good. And we would circle around there because auras. Um, and then till your mouth forms an oval. Good. And then you'd also want to do the reverse direction. It opens. And then if needed, you could stroke going inwards to elicit the opening of the mouth. And so press your lips. Good. So you could stroke inward to help elicit that. Okay, now to retract the lips, I'm going to use the same ice finger, but this time instead of going in a clockwise motion, I would stroke across the lips, and this is to try to get the lips to retract and pull, so keep your mouth shut. And then you're going to go this way, and it should bring them back. Good. And you'd also quick strokes <laughs> toward the end, toward the lips. Then, one more time, so we're going to do three. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's because it's frozen or not, but definitely making mm -hmm. that reaction. Okay. So, the um, obviously, the ice, the cold thermal concept is definitely working for her. Okay. To stimulate unilateral weakness, I'm going to take a frozen medical cotton swab around the lips clockwise and then um, if there was a one side with weakness, let's say her side with the sore, you could go up in quick directions. Okay? From the affected side. Okay. So we're going to do that one more time. Go in a clockwise direction and up on the side of weakness. Okay, now for the thermal stimulation of the fascia pillars, um, I'm going to use a tongue blade and a new tool, which is just a soft, rounded metal probe. I'm going to hold down the tongue with the tongue blade and with five strokes on each fascia pillars. So, look straight to the camera. There you go. And then try to hold this down. Okay. Try to put your tongue down as much as possible. And then with five strokes, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm going to dip this back in the ice. Hold on. Let's try that again. Okay. So add up real wide. Yeah. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay. Hey, great. <laughs> Getting good reflexes there, too. Okay. So could you feel the coldness? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that would, don't want to do that one again for you. <laughs> But um, that would be getting the fascia pillars and the oral cavity prepared for bolus swallowing if the client was not able to, to manage that. Um, and also with um, it could inhibit hypertonosity if your client had difficulties with that. Um, okay, so we're going to go back to the frozen swab. That seemed a little sensitive. Um, and... Again, on your soft palate, I'm going to go horizontally, and if 
she did have a weaker side. I would go from the weaker side to the stronger side. So again, we're going to pretend that her little sore here is her weak side. And this is to facilitate palatal reflex. So try to look in the camera as much as possible so she can see it. Okay, so open real big. Like, just like mm -hmm. you did last time. Here you go. And one quick stroke. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, I've got multiple Q-tips here. I'm going to get a different one. Maybe colder. Okay. You have my tongue now? Uh, just where it's flat away from your palate. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me stick it out. Ah, uh, just like you did. Okay. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's a trooper. <laughs> okay, so that was the palatal reflex triggering. Good. Okay. And then to, um, again, to increase palatal reflex again. Sorry to, bad news for you. Don't like it. But same concept, but instead we're going to go from anterior to posterior direction. So in a downward motion towards your uvula opposed to the left and right. Okay? So you would go to this, the weaker side, and give her opportunity to her right, stronger side, and then this center. Okay? Uh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> good. You're good at that one. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going... Better than I thought. <laughs> so this is part one of my integration video. It doesn't freeze. And I'm going to pause it and do part two so it's email friendly. Okay, we are back with part two of my video. Okay, next we're going to move on to increase tongue base retraction. Okay, we're going to have you stick out your tongue again and we're going to slide from the um, weaker to the stronger side across the bitter taste buds and again looking for your tongue base which is the part closest to your palate to retract. Okay, with firm pressure. Oh, there. That was pretty easy. Can you mm -hmm. see that? There you go. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Great job. Okay, mm -hmm. so tongue base retraction. Um, and then we also have the to increase tongue base retraction, you can also do it with palatal um, reflexes or with initiation on the palate. And so I'm going to put my hand here where I can feel the movement of her tongue and glide the frozen swab from down your uvula to the tip of the uvula. Okay. So um, open real big again. Try to kind of look to the camera. Okay. And ah. Uh, uh, Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you handle that one more time? Okay. Okay. Can you feel the frozen? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. One more time. I'm gonna do it real fast. One swipe. Oh, there it goes. Great <laughs> job. Great job. Okay. She also has a sensitive gag reflex. I yeah. have found out. <laughs> okay. Um, next to increase the lingual curling. I'm going to go back to our frozen rounded probe here. And from the back to the front, down the midline of your tongue, it's going to be um, a stroke. Okay, and I'm going to use a tongue blade to keep the tongue down. You can also <laughs> do that with your hand, but I think this is a better idea. And from the back, okay, push this back to the ice. Okay, we're looking for the tongue tip to curl up. Okay. Oh, there. <laughs> there. Okay. So can you lift the tip of your tongue? Yep. Perfect. Start one more time. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Okay. So then <laughs> to um, now we're going to try to, instead of increase it, we're going to reduce elevation, but in the posterior tongue. Going back to one of our cotton swabs. And with this one, um, it's ideal to have some lemon juice on it, which thankfully we do have a bottle up here. 
And um, with light touches, it's going to be long strokes from the posterior to the anterior of the tongue on both sides. Okay. And again, we're looking for posterior elevation. Turn your head to mm -hmm. here, please. And okay. Okay. Let me try that one more time. We go from left to right. Out, going on the side. Okay, there it goes. Don't have to get all the way through for her. <laughs> okay. Um, to elongate and elevate the tongue tip, we're going to do a similar action. Handle this, um, but instead we're going down the lateral sides of the tongue, posterior to anterior, using quick strokes. But this time we're going to avoid the center, opposed to the sides. Okay, and then afterwards we're going again. We're trying to get the tip of the tongue to elongate and elevate. So we're going to do quick strokes at the end. Okay. Okay, and then, oh, <laughs> that was real easy. Let's do that one more time because that was kind of fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, and then two. <laughs> you already know what's coming. Okay, good job. It's hard. Um, okay, so next we're going to try to, again, elevate the tongue laterally um, from the lateral sides. And this requires four different strokes along the sides. And then, um, again, on the other side, we're, we're going to use the tongue blade this time. Okay. Okay, and then this pressure on the tip. Okay, great. Making sure I knew where it was. So this time, we're going to go from the one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, let's try this. Switching quat and swab. Okay, so back. Front, front, one, two, three, four. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay. Okay. To elevate the tongue tip, this time we're going to do a similar, similar action, but it's going to be on the underside um, of your tongue. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with the frozen swab, going to go down the side. Okay. So this time. I want you to lift your tongue up, or okay. I can stay underneath it. Okay. And then we're going to do one, two, three. Okay. Um, let's see. Try to, let me start that one over. Try to not let your tongue already be touching the roof of your mouth. So, uh -huh. okay. And kind of, there. Okay. And then, uh -huh. <laughs> like this. Okay. Okay. So, one, two. And then with pressure, you can push it up. You can help facilitate that rate. Obviously, she has that skill and mastered, so <laughs> she's got that. Um, but that's from the complete, I'm um, sorry, quick upward stroke would be from under the tongue to get it post, to get it up. One more time, one more time. So one, two, three, four, and then, okay. Well, okay. So don't let it already start touching the, there. Ready? One. Okay. Well, it definitely happens. <laughs> Good job. Okay. So then um, next we're going to reduce lingual deviation upon protrusion as most people's tongue deviates to their weaker side and with any type of disorder that could be from neurological impairments. Um, so we're going to take, let's go back to the probe and we would do short, um, strokes on your weaker side. So again, we're going to pretend that my mom's left side is her weaker side. And then with um, short strokes on, on that side of your mouth. And then if um, I'm going to also actually hold your tongue. Okay. With the gauze, the tip of the tongue and go diagonally across. Okay. So, okay. So um, open real big where you can see your tongue. Uh, uh, good. And then we're going to come on this side and this side. And if she had the weaker side again, we would come from the weaker side to the stronger side. Okay, let me switch. I'm going to switch back to the cotton swab to try different, to try both techniques. Okay. Okay. 
So to the side, to the side, and this, and then if needed, you could help. There we go. Okay. One more time. One more time. Ready? Okay. That's for my sake. And then on the weaker side, stroking the star side, and towards the weaker side. Great. <laughs> okay. So that completes my sensory integration um, techniques video, and I hope this works.